I've been getting some awesome compliments regarding my love sexually. And this is mostly because of, thank you, Chatterbait. What a life changer, you know? <laughs> and just my, I guess, my more transparent sex than anybody else in history. Just, I, I just had to make this video. Um, there's another side to sex, all right? It's not, it's not even sex, really. It's really not. No, it's not. I'm in the car, so I've been thinking about I'm I'm actually, like, getting going into Burger King here. Shout out to Burger King, right? Who, who, who um, I've been doing eggs. I brought that into my diet back again, I don't know, maybe four to six months ago. There's this thing about selenium and eggs, and it, for some reason, it's been working good in my body. It's been Burger King of all places, right? So, <laughs> eggs and sex, right? I'm talking about sex, as usual, right? So, everybody says they feel love. When they've been to my house, you know, even after the divorces and everything, and of course, they feel in my car... Obviously done some things in the back seat there with the girls. Just sitting in, the, you just feel love around me and everything. That means a lot. To, that means everything to me. That's what it's all about, you know. But I've talked to people about, and I've, I've, I've seen, okay, I was, one of the things I wanted to see was like, I want to see somebody else have sex. I saw it for the first time, May 2000, oh, I felt good. Now I feel good. I hear that in the video. Crack my neck. So I want to say 17, maybe 18. Academy for Fetish Arts. <laughs> it's like a BDSM thing in downtown Cleveland. I like it. It's cool. People are cool. Um, yeah, no no alcohol or drugs in, in your facility. So that's really cool. And it's like every single time. I, I saw, I mean, look, you see so many people play basketball. It's like, really? Is that what you got? <laughs> Come on now, really? Um, you see somebody else play, trying to play quarterback. Like, really, dude? You see a backup quarterback come in for a team. And it's pretty much a joke. I mean, obviously, Tom Brady was a backup quarterback. Michigan, yeah, and of course, then uh, New England Patriots. But you know, there's a, you know, for the most part, you, you got somebody come in. It's a joke. The way people kiss, I've seen it in public. It's a disaster. Okay, you can see my the kissing you can see on Facebook, but <laughs> YouTube even too, right? So the chatter bait, you know, you got to go to, to see actual, you know, very graphic stuff, right? <laughs> I'm turning the video so we don't get people on video here this guy's walking with a I had one of those um, air cast anyway um, I've learned and I've, ex I've learned probably the past few years and accepted really finally accepted maybe in the last four to six weeks especially in the past two or three weeks what's going on with sex and penetration uh, kissing just well, I mean, you know, the Bible talks about a third chapter, first, yeah, second Timothy three through five, uh, one through three, one through five, denying natural affection. Greet one another with a holy kiss. I, I, anywhere I go, people want to kiss me. I, I, girls, the, the sexy ones, they know better. They go for the, the, the nice kind of kiss, right? <laughs> just I don't know where, boom, you know. That's not happen to anybody. It just it's it's my, it's my it's my love. So I talked to a man, you know, he complains like, Jason, how do you, how do you, you know, he saw me, you know, I, you know, I met him through um, one of my traveling networks and, you know, he watched me with a girl and um, he really uh, enjoyed it. And he, we talked afterwards. He's like, yeah, he's where he's married. He, he was like, well, 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 he couldn't get his wife to, he's, to participate with him or whatever you call it. Right. So he's like saying to me one time, like, yeah, she said to me, like, are you done yet? I'm like, what? People talk like that, okay? And then you hear situations whereby, and I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it now new to, I, I, I never realized this, but for the most part, what people are doing with sex, and even here, you know, a company or restaurant, wherever it is, they're manipulating it, turning it into a transaction, trying to get something out of it. They're leveraging it. That's what grace is. Grace is, is it's, just, it's just freely given, it's, it's the love, it's non-transactional, unconditional love. And that's, that's, what, that's what I'm all about. So I'm on Chatterbait, and you can see the videos, the pictures. <laughs> Everybody's saying, wow, I just see so much passion and love in you, Jason. You're doing this because you, you, you enjoy it. People go to Notre Dame 
to play football there because their parents did it. Or <laughs> I'm going to beat up on Notre Dame, which I am. I'm being. That's probably the, f the first school you think of here. I'm in Florida, so you, you know Florida State. Why are you going to UPenn? Because mommy and daddy went there, or you know Yale, Princeton, Harvard. I mean, Michael Jordan's children. I mean, obviously, one went to Central Uni Central Florida University, UCF, University of Central Florida. So, come on, you're not gonna live up to that. Now you got Bronny. This kid, you can tell he he he, he likes to play ball. LeBron James' son. Okay, he he wants to play. He's got to live up to LeBron James, of course, his dad. But the reality is this: yeah, he's a baller and um, he enjoys it. Most people aren't having sex because they enjoy it. It's just something they're just going along with. A lot of them, they just want to have children, and then that's it. They're done. It's a total disaster in this country, especially, you know, in America. They'll do a lot of the one-night stands, which is another unmitigated disaster. That's, I mean, you're just, you're asking, you're, you're asking for more problems, and, and it's fear. It's fear. People are having sex out of fear. I didn't, I didn't realize it. And to think, okay, well... And the numbers are staggering how, I mean, it's like more than 90% of people are, are, are not even doing Only like, what was it? Only people have, who are in like a, a relationship, kind of they call it a relationship bullshit. Boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever. Only like, what was it? Um, They have sex per week, like three times, three point something times a week. <laughs> That's per day, easily. Per, I mean, for me, I have... Obviously, uh, the Christian marriages. I mean, obviously, I came out of this whole mainstream Christianity thing, which is religion. Um, disaster. It's it's prostitution, okay? And these prostitution people, they're not happy. Why don't you hear people talk about sex? It's it's all taboo. It's because they're not happy about it. <laughs> You don't hear from somebody for a while. They're not you, when you hear from them. Oh yeah, they're you know. They want to tell their story. Why don't you hear people talking about sex, their sex life, whatever it is? It's because it's, it's why is it taboo? It's because they're not happy with. It. They're very insecure. And it is what it is. Fine, so be it. You know. But you've got situations whereby, okay, then you got alcohol, okay, and then pot. And, Something like 63 or 68 percent of people admit, admit, just admit, and the rest of people probably even more, to smoking pot on a daily basis. Oh my God! Look at the numbers. Just, just go and Google this stuff, okay? I'm telling you that you know, and then of course the alcohol thing. You get a lot of guys like to get girls drunk. Or girls like to get get drunk to make the excuse that oh, then they had sex. It was the alcohol. That's 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 a crime, y'all. You got things like such as sexual assault and rape. Those things are not sex. In fact, I would say what I'm learning is like the majority of the majority, the very, very, very high majority, even in marriages, okay? It's not sex, all right? If you're doing it to get something, to get a promotion at a company or to get a business deal, I've, by the way, look at me, I mean, integrity, hello. Everywhere I've worked, it's always been. I'm just not. I'm not, I'm not aroused by. I mean, there's some sexy. I'm, I'm just thinking right now of people I worked with. There's some really hot girls I worked with. Sex, extremely sexy. But I never even thought about like. You just no. Come on, that's. The, uh, uniform commercial code. Hello, you're just you're just you know avoiding contracts. That's not sex, y'all. And there's some cute videos out there, the porn videos. You know, the the contractor comes over. <laughs> I've seen the videos. I'm not, you know, like, like, like I've said before, I'm not into watching porn, but I like to make videos. I'm a major hypocrite, okay? It's just, it's just a joke. The girls that, that by themselves, yeah, it's hot. The guys, you just, you have no clue. It's the kissing, the kissing, the kissing. It really gets it going, I'm telling you. You gotta have it everywhere. The five, five star player, you know, five tool player. I'm thinking about the you know baseball players and basketball. I'm I'm big into sports, all right. 
So there's another side to sex, and that's not sex. I'm just telling you that right now. What you see with me, it's love. Love. I have such intense and passionate love for, with women, with whom I make love. Penetrate, pound, hit. <laughs> Did I hit that? Nailed that? <laughs> That's what they call it. Um, yeah, I have sex with. I think about, you know, my marriages and obviously the women I've been with in the past few years. Going back to high school, you know. <laughs> I lost my virginity when I was, like, just turning 18. I was actually 17. So, <laughs> they just, just, people just don't. It's about receiving people. The art of allowing, the art of receiving, the art of, the law of receiving, the law of allowing. Allow goodness. Everything needs to be done with pleasure. And if you don't have pleasure doing it, then it's a crime. Do you understand me? No! <laughs> it's a very... No, it's not a very... It's like the most powerful word. <laughs> not just that, but it's like you don't have to earn these things. You don't have to merit... You don't have to deserve this by, you know... These guys like, oh, if I show her I'm being faithful. There's a song by Offspring. And I wonder why she sleeps with my friend. The more you suffer, the more it shows you really care. Right? Yeah. No, the more you suffer, the more it shows you care. That's, that's BDSM. Oh, get beat up and then you, you get the better. Whatever. Uh-oh, I missed breakfast. Nah, they'll, maybe, they'll hook me up, I think. It goes until 10.30. And it's like 10... It's a long, I didn't expect this video to be this long. So, I, I'm look, I, I'm, I'm aware of the other side of love, and the other side of sex. And I'm just, you know, Gary Chapman wrote a book, it's called The Other Side of Love. And there is, and it's very serious. Um, people are, are taking advantage of cognition. It's disabled people. Um, alcohol. I can't get aroused with a woman when even I'm sipping on, on something, like wine or something. Just not into it, y'all. Colleagues, I mean, it's cute to flirt and all that. But how do you people even go any further than like these things? It doesn't, no, okay? Drugs. Cocaine, pot, meth. That's a big one now, meth. I shouldn't be laughing at these, but you kind of had to laugh. Um, yeah, heroin. Pills. Anyway, everything about me, and I, I, I get it. People are like, that's why there's so much into me. You know, you just like, you know what's up. You're getting the real, authentic, genuine, passionate love.